Denmark, traditionally known for its stringent immigration policies, is embarking on a significant policy shift aimed at attracting more students from Africa to its universities. This new strategy, announced by Danish Foreign Minister Lars Lokke Rasmussen, represents a major change in Denmark's approach to immigration and international education. Denmark's immigration policy has long been characterized by its restrictive stance aimed at minimizing the influx of migrants and protecting the welfare state. However, in response to the challenges posed by a shrinking population and declining economic influence in Europe, the Danish government is now seeking to attract highly talented students from Africa. This new initiative, part of Denmark's broader Africa strategy, is not driven by altruism, but by strategic need to safeguard Danish interests and bolster Europe's global standing. Foreign Minister Lars Loke Rasmussen has emphasized that the goal is to bring bright young African students to Denmark, not just as a charitable act, but as a way to ensure future economic and political benefits for the country. With Europe's population declining and its economic influence waning, Denmark aims to tap into Africa's growing talent pool to address these issues. Denmark currently hosts around 25,000 international students, but this number has been decreasing. To counter this trend, the Danish government plans to increase the number of English taught programs at its universities significantly. By 2028, Denmark is set to add 1,100 new master's programs in English, with an overall increase of 2,500 by 2029. International students contribute significantly to Denmark's economy. A report from the Danish Society of Engineers indicates that each international graduate contributes an average of over 2 million DKK, approximately 282,000 USD, to the Danish economy 13 years after graduation. Furthermore, one in three international students remains in Denmark, with an impressive 80% employment rate among those who stay. This focus on African students is expected to rejuvenate Denmark's educational institutions and further integrate the country into the global academic and economic landscape. By attracting top talent from Africa, Denmark hopes to build a network that will offer long-term benefits and enhance its global influence. Denmark's initiative comes at a time when other European countries are also revisiting their policies regarding international students. In Italy, Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani has expressed a desire to increase the number of African students studying in Italy. Tajani's proposal includes potentially granting citizenship to foreign minors who complete their education in Italy, reflecting a similar strategy to Denmark's. Italy issued around 25,000 study permits in 2022, a number significantly lower than that of France and Germany. Tajani's comments highlight Italy's interest in leveraging African talent to boost these educational and economic sectors, drawing a parallel to Denmark's approach. Denmark's new strategy signals a broader shift in how European countries might engage with Africa. By focusing on attracting students from Africa, Denmark is not only addressing its own demographic and economic challenges, but also fostering a positive relationship with the African continent. This approach could set a precedent for other nations grappling with similar issues. As Africa's population grows and its global influence expands, partnerships between Europe and Africa are likely to become increasingly important. Denmark's strategy could serve as a model for balancing national interest with global trends, demonstrating a proactive approach to international collaboration. Denmark's new initiative to attract African students marks a significant departure from its historically restrictive immigration policies. By focusing on the brightest young talents from Africa, Denmark aims to address its own demographic and economic challenges while enhancing its global influence. As other European countries consider similar strategies, this shift could have lasting implications for international education and global partnerships. What are your thoughts on Denmark's new strategy? Do you think it will achieve its goals and set a trend for other countries to follow? Share your opinions in the comments below and stay tuned 
for more updates on this evolving story.